Hi folks and welcome to another Mackenzie photo video. This week I'm going to be talking about a recent acquisition that I've just got. It's the Goodox V1 um, on camera flash. Uh, I'll talk about that in just a minute. Um, I've had to scrap the video that I was going to put up earlier on this week because it would have made me look incredibly stupid. So I'm going to come clean. Um, basically on these cameras you've got electronic shutter and I've been using mechanical shutter up until this point. I wanted to do some silent shooting, switched on the electronic shooting and it was making a funny noise, something that I'd never heard before. Um, so I tried it on different uh, shutters, everything seemed to work fine, it was just electronic shutter. Now I thought there was an issue with the camera and I was going to contact Fuji about it until I was uh, searching, searching through the menus to put the new firmware up in it. Um, and I came across sound of the shutter. I didn't realize it had that function. So I could have made myself look like a complete fool and sent my camera away for no reason. Um, and I'm really glad that I found out because that would have made me look extremely foolish. But I'm willing to admit my mistakes. It's something that I've, I've never really used electronic shutter before in any of my gear. Um, and I didn't know they had different sound functions or different levels of sound. I thought you put it on electronic shutter when you want silence. So that's what I was putting it on for. Um, I haven't really been out this week to do any photos just cause life's getting in the way. Um, me and my partner are both busy people so we don't get a lot of time to see each other. So we do our best and this week we've been trying to make up some time. But again, it's, it's difficult. Um, She's actually looking forward to getting some chickens that are coming, hopefully soon we're building a chicken coop today. So fingers crossed it all goes according to plan. Anyway, enough about my normal life. Um, I bought this the other day, um, and like I say, I've not been out to shoot this week, so I haven't had the chance to use it yet. I'm thinking about hiring a model um, just to test this out. Um, obviously that's gonna be a, quite a bit of expense for me as I'm skint, um, but the reason why I'm excited about this is all the talk of it last year when it came out, obviously Profoto have their version and this is pretty much a Chinese copy and from what I've been hearing there isn't much difference between the two of them apart from the price. The Profoto one I think is a thousand pounds. Uh, don't quote me on that, I could be completely wrong. Whereas this came in just over 200. And um, I also purchased, purchased the accessory pack. Um, the reason why I went to this style of flash is basically the, the gimmick of it is the magnet. It just clips on like that. And it is a strong magnet. You do have to pull it off. It's not gonna fall off. It's not gonna get tapped off. Um, it's a brilliant thing and I'm really disappointed I've not done any shots to show you um, what it can do because I've got barn doors for it, I've got a snood for it, um, I've got a bounce card for it, I've got another diffuser, I've even got one that I can put gels in um, and I also um, got a, a whole range of diffusers and gels to use with it. Um, I just can't wait to get some shots to show you what it can do. Um, as with previous videos, I'm going to try and up my game ever so much because the negative comments that are coming through are beginning to annoy me. So I'm going to be up in my game and being more selective about what I put up. Um, because at the moment, yeah, a lot of my work has been just happy snaps because it's just a bit of fun. But I've been talking to my partner um, over the course of the past few months and I want to make something out of this YouTube channel so I want to give it a go so therefore I really do have to up my game so I'm not listening to the haters as such I'm just taking notice that um, even I notice the quality of my work that I put up on on YouTube hasn't been fantastic so the videos might not have as many photos of them photos in them in the next coming months because mainly I'm a portrait photographer so I will be hiring models to do various shoots and that's going to take planning and time. I will be planning to put a video up each week 
um, talking about everything photography. Um, also, if anyone wants to send me a message and if you want me to cover a particular subject, we can do that. Um, in my videos, they're usually 10 minutes long, but it's just me skimming the surface because photography, you could end up talking for six weeks about one single subject. Um, I mean, you could end up talking about an the aperture ring for an entire month if you really went into detail about its history and what it can do and what it does to light um, but I'm not going to start down that track just yet um, so yeah just just to see what's coming up as I say got this um, to try out I'm going to be getting some more models soon um, hopefully in the pipeline also uh, I might be able to get the macro lens the native GF1 to see what that can do as well um, but apart from that, the only other technical gear issue I've had was the Rode VideoMic Pro has started playing up on me, so I think I'll be using this little um, a lav mic that I bought cheaply on Amazon for the foreseeable future. And obviously my almost complete humiliation about sending this, this back. Again, I'm using my son's little Canon 700D to shoot this video on and I'll upscale it to 4K. But um, that's enough of me talking absolute rubbish just now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cover a few other things and let you get back to your day or click on the next video. Um, as you know, I do have a shop running on my website, www.mckenziephoto. Put the address up at the bottom of the screen and in the description. I'm also going to put up a discount code just down below as well. It's mckenziephoto-10. Uh, put that just down below. Um, and also I have a GoFundMe because a few of you know that I am suffering with a secondary cancer. Um, not too many months ago I got told that um, it looked like I had beaten my original cancer and unfortunately that's not the case. So I have a secondary cancer on my liver. Um, so I've also got a GoFundMe going. Um, if you want to help support me through that I would greatly appreciate it. Um, and also if you want to get something for yourself there's some fuck cancer stuff in my shop there's also my limited print runs I've started doing them in the shop as well um, they will be signed there will be a very limited run so if you want one grab one and also um, for me personally just boys and girls ladies and gentlemen if you are feeling unwell for a prolonged amount of time and you just think it's just a cold or something, go to the doctor and get checked out. There is no point waiting around for it to turn into something like, I mean, you may feel silly, you may, you may go to the doctor feeling silly and it could end up to be something that, that you've caught early. Don't wait until something becomes uh, something that could have been stopped very early. Um, I thought I was just getting tired all the time and ignored a lot of the signs that I shouldn't have um, for my particular cancer. And I was really lucky I've had amazing doctors. Um, but yeah, check yourself regularly. Boys and girls, you know all the lumps and bumps to look for in your private areas. But also if you're feeling unwell or if you've got a call for more than three weeks, go and get yourself checked out. You have to do it because it's the people that you leave behind that will be most heartbroken. Anyway, that's enough about me and me trying to badger in a healthcare. Um, I just want to say thank you very much for watching. Please take care and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.